Once a swan stopped to speak to a raven sitting by the riverside. Why do you look so unhappy? The swan asked. You are so beautiful, with your feathers white as the moon and your long graceful neck. How you draw men's eyes, the raven said. I am black as the night sky, and men call me an ill omen when they see me. Come into the water with me, said the swan. Maybe if you swim and dive like me, you will come to look like me. So the raven went into the water and swam with her. He could not swim very well, and when he tried to dive, he found it very difficult. Although he washed and washed all morning long, his feathers stayed black as the night sky. I do not think swimming and diving like you will make me look like you, he told the swan. Come and eat with me, said the swan. Maybe if you eat water weeds and roots like me, you will come to look like me. So the raven went to the river bank and ate with her. He did not like the water weeds, and when he tried to dig for roots, he found it very difficult. Although he ate and ate all afternoon long, his feathers stayed black as the night sky. I do not think eating water weeds and roots like you will make me look like you, he told the swan. Come and fly with me, said the swan. Maybe if you fly and stretch like me, you will come to look like me. So the raven took to the air and flew with her. He could not keep up very well, and when he tried to stretch out his neck, he found it very difficult. Although he flew and flew all evening long, his feathers stayed black as the night sky. I do not think flying and stretching like you will make me look like you, he told the swan. When the swan looked back at the raven, she laughed and laughed at him. You are so foolish, little raven. You will never look like me. I cannot wait to fly home and tell my family about your lack of sense. But the raven had seen something the swan had not. You are right. I will never look like you, with your feathers white as the moon and your long, graceful neck. How you draw men's eyes. The swan laughed at him again, drawing the attention of the hunters below. They took aim at her, white as the moon against the night sky, and pierced her breast with an arrow. As the swan fell, the raven flew on.